Okay, so I think that I have had a bit of a breakthrough thanks to a bunch of help. And the word not statistically significant isn't even mathematically correct at all, <laughs> or these asterisks. Uh, not statistically significant has a whole different meaning about what we can tell from data. What we're really trying to get at, I think, in these reporting of data that it has a small count size is, is about uncertainty. And instead of trying to pretend that we know exactly the results from any group of people, whether we have lots of data about them or a little bit of data about them, one thing we can do to bring some equity into our stuff is to report a point estimate with a confidence interval. And you can report a point estimate and a confidence interval no matter how many people you have data from. And if we started doing this, there would be no such thing as a group of people who were su too small. Um, and it would be up to the researcher. It would The burden would be on the person making the communication to help the audience or the readers understand what this point estimate and confidence interval meant. So this way we could put the burden back on the person creating the data product rather than what we're doing right now by saying not statistically significant, which really turns out to be not true in a myriad of ways and puts the burden directly on communities that are small and are small, uh, as a Abigail Echohawk pointed out, because of oppression. So that's the breakthrough. We're getting close to being able to maybe write it up. Please keep sharing.